right. Um, hopefully everything's working correctly. This is my second uh, weekly review in a row. Let me see if my mic is my mic on. I hope yes, it is. All right. Um, all right. This week it was an okay week. I had some great things. I had some really bad things. Um, Monday was an okay day. I started off as you see here, uh, CNTB. Um, I have up top here the five minute chart. This is where I traded it. I had lines between one five and one seven. I uh, used previous day highs. And then if you look out to the yearly chart, that one six, you can see it right in here. One six to two is a pretty good area. Uh, it breaks that and you know, then obviously it can go much higher. Well, 3.48 is a high. So I felt pretty comfortable with this trade. Um, I got pretty good size on when it stuffed down um, on the two minute. I added uh, at the or on the one five. I felt pretty comfortable with this, and I was going to play the the after this death candle here. It's not really a death candle to go through VWAP, but let's say these stuffs here. I was going to hit the next one. I was a little late, didn't get the fantasy orders out, um, but I definitely hit it on the way down a little bit, and then I just let it ride. Uh, it was a pretty good trade, you know, nothing, nothing too basic. I a little on to the end of the day, um, still made a little bit on it, but just got out at what to right at three o'clock when we're supposed to be. I try to follow the rules when best I can. Uh, the next chart I have is still Monday as well. CEI was uh, let me get rid of this one. Boom, we got CEI in here. Trying to make this bigger for you guys when uh, you see it. I'll get better at it. It's been a while. All right. So you got CEI. Um, definitely is a, there was a stuff up here. I saw the big wick down and it went red. I hit it pretty hard. Um, it was not on the watch list. I think it was a it was a, a ad at the end. Where we were talking about it as, as a pump. The other one was on the watch list. It might even been a farmer pump, to be honest. I can't remember. Um, you know, this is not, this thing's pretty dead. I mean, yeah, it could have gone to six. Let's look at the five day. I have the five day up there. Let's look at the, um, let's see, I don't have a 15. Um, so, you know, it was down pretty good. I, I just felt it was down. I took a chance, boom, I hit it. I took a majority off and again, you know, I left 10% on, on this one. Um, because I had already gotten, you know, not a ton, but you know, 12 cents, figured might as well just let it go. When it went back up um, later in the day, I, I, I wasn't going to risk it. I just wanted to get out. And I think I had to go somewhere. And I didn't really want to mess around with it or, or do a trailing stop. So I just got rid of it. So, you know, pretty much nothing for Monday. Oh, we have one more trade on Monday. Um, and this might be right off the watch list. Um, I think this just hit our lines pretty well. Um, boom, go like that. Hopefully this is making it easier for everyone to see. So ENZ, um, you know, oh, I even have lines, old lines on here. Look at that. Those are pretty old. Huh, that's incredible. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Let's do the five minute on here. Um, so it, this kind of bounced back and forth. You know, Alex said, it wasn't much range. Um, he wanted 235 to 250. Uh, as you can see, I hit it right at 235, um, and it was okay size. Um, but I just took the, I think it was 12 cents or 14 cents or whatever, and just walked. Uh, this was just a nail and bail trade done by 1030 and got out of there. It just wasn't worth it. Um, all right, so we come up to Tuesday. So I had a green day on Monday. I get to Tuesday, I'm going, all right, it's a good week going so far, nice. And we have CRBB. We got a five minute chart. I don't know if we're gonna need this, but let's put it in anyways. CRBP, boop. And let's do the 10 and 20. Okay, so um, Monday it was on the watch list. This is Tuesday. Okay, and uh, we still had a strong rebound yesterday, likely ignore. Well, Alex changed it and came back with, here's some good lines um, for it this day. Um, I wanted the eight area. 
Uh, it got up to there. I put some orders on on that stuff down. I know it's a five minute. I felt pretty comfortable with that eight. I mean, you can look right here. Here's the 20 day. You know, that eight tens the high. Um, it stuffed down. Let me look. Um, I had a tight stop on it. Let me, let's look at the gear in one day. Right there, there's, you know, there's some good resistance there. If it breaks this though, the next spot is 11. It didn't. Um, I covered some right away just to pay myself and then just watched it go down. It was done by 1030. I didn't want to do much with it. It was a nail and bail, but it was a decent trade. You know, nothing spectacular. Um, the next trade was off the watch list as well, which is usually a common theme with me, just in case you're curious. Uh, LLIP was low hanging fruit, um, one that hit, uh, I mean, pretty self-explanatory. I mean, you can tell, boom, boom, it hit two, I hit it at two, and uh, I actually hit that with pretty good size because I was being tight, I was gonna go two, 215, and be out by 220. Um, and this just went, it went straight down on what I caught 25 cents and um, then another 15 cents on the rest. And I was done, you know, I was pretty much done by, Oh, what time is that again? 10 before zombie time. So I felt pretty good. Um, two days in a row. Nice trading. You know, started feeling good. And then we got to Wednesday. And actually, I don't want to start with these two. But, oh, that's the only trade I had that day. Well, I only really had one trade on Wednesday. I was pretty focused. Uh, and I'll bring in the morning one here. And as you remember... Again, from the watch list, what did Alex say? What was his number one watch? It was GME. Um, so that's all, when I, when I heard that, I'd already kind of traded it pre-market because you, you can see the line there. I mean, let me get back to, let me put the five day here so I can draw a line. Uh, boom. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This doesn't show up your market very well, does it? Hmm. That's what I did hate about this. Oh, I got the wrong thing. But what is this? Doesn't look right. Uh, bear with me, guys. Sorry. GME. Boop. So uh, Wednesday is right here. So we'll go pre-market, right? And this thing just popped right here, 278. I was a little higher, but I wanted 28. I hit a little bit in pre-market at seven on that pop-up. Played it, got out right about down in here and said, okay, I'm gonna rest. And then, um, as it, whoops, I'm sorry, right here on this pop, rest here. And then when it popped, this is, yeah, right 30. When it hit up here, this was close to the 28 where I wanted to be. Um, I didn't really want to be in at the open. As you see, there's a few here. I tried to go back in. I just didn't feel comfortable. Um, I didn't really want to go into the open, so I got out here. But as soon as that open came, as soon as this stuffed a little bit, it was getting stuffed, and this candle here happened, boom, I, I knew I was in. And I hammered it. It was full size right here on this wick, as, as you can see right here, and just rode it all the way down. <laughs> um, so by you know what, uh, nine thirty-five, I'd already made what uh, four dollars a share, a little less. Let's call it. We'll call it three twenty-five, so we don't split hairs. Uh, and I was pretty much you know done for the day. Um, three dollars, the size I had, it was uh, okay. I'm done. Um, I did come back a little later in the afternoon uh, and traded it again. So here's my. Let me get rid of this. Do, do, do. So here we are later in the afternoon. Oh, I gotta check my dinner. It's cooking on the grill. Okay, it's good. <laughs> um, I thought this was gonna die. That's all we were talking about, right? Here's two o'clock. I thought we were gonna get a reversal. Boom, boom, stuff here. I was pretty happy, pretty confident. I said, no worries. Uh, went out, got out for break even. It went up, stuffed again. When we got to here, I said, okay, this thing's really over. I got in again right before three o'clock because I won't add after three at all. I'll keep them on, but I won't add. And then it went down. I covered out, got out before 3.30 because, excuse me, I didn't want it to zombie against me. 
Um, and I was pretty happy. It was a big day for me. Um, so I was pretty excited. So now here, so that's the first part of the week, right? Where I'm all excited. I did really well. Then we get into the next day. And I was a little overconfident. Um, I was a little cocky. And it bit me in the ass. Um, first, I'll start with the easy. I bet you I think this is right off the watch list. Oh, it isn't off the watch list. Um, the other one is, oh no, TBIO, right off the watch list. Um, boom, boom, boom. I had my lines. I was a little early. I got in, got out, got back in, didn't like what was going on, got out right away. Now, the reason this happened right here, look, it's 1030. I wanted to be out. This is a nice little trade, no worries. I made, what, 20 cents? I should have been okay. The problem was is I was down in other tickers already. So now I'm feeling the pain of, okay, I've already taken a couple of hits, um, and here's, here's where we go. So I got out of this saying, oh my God, I'm not trading well today. I should have backed off, and I didn't, because the first thing I did is I chased, um, let's get rid of this, boom. So now we're at GME again. The next day, whoops, right? And I don't think this was on the watches. I think this was pure me, but let's look. I know we're all talking, oh no, I mean, Alex had it. 24, 24, 24 to 25, um, but look, where did I get in? This thing at 920 started tanking. I thought, I said, this is over. This was my line, this 23 line. I said, that's gonna, if that breaks, whoops, look at that. Can we get that back? If this 23 line breaks, this thing's over and done. It's toast. Let's go back out here. Um, so here we are on Thursday, right? Right there, man, right there. If that line, I, I think this is toast, it's done, it's over. I'm all excited, this is going down right here. I'm good to go. So I load it up, hit it again on that wick down. We're good, nope, stop out. I said, all right, boom, it stuffs. I get back in, I stopped out. So I had tight stops. Okay, I, that's great, great management on that. The issue is, it's just, it wasn't a good trade yet. And, you know, it went against me and, and then it kind of, it bounced me out for the day. And mentally, now I, just, I played catch up. Uh, and that's where I have to improve myself because the other one that was on, we're talking about in chat, and I can't believe I traded it because it's a no trade for me. Uh, but the other one was uh, coin. I, I don't trade these and look, Right on Alex's watch list again, coin. What did I do? I was super confident. I said, I can, I'm gonna kill all these trades today. I am the man. You killed it yesterday. You're gonna kill it again today. The good thing is I had good, great risk management, <laughs> but look at this, boom, that goes up 66. What was Alex's first line though? 67, right? Which is up here. I was down here, but what I hit, boom, this is done. Then I just go sideways. I stop out. It hits the line. I got to get in, right? I covered some. I let some go because why did I let this go? Well, I'm down. I'm right on the day. I got to I got to keep it. Right before 10:30, hits my heart stop. I'm out. So there's coin. <laughs> so there's another loss for the day. Then we get the next one. CXAI. CXAI jumps and goes. This was a runner. Uh, it was late in the day. Um, I, my, my thought was 2.5 to 2.6, get out at 2.7. Let's bring this up. Let's see why I came up with that number. Because I remember saying this, I missed it by whatever because I wouldn't let it run. And the reason I wouldn't let these run is because I was down by mistrading GME. I, it's just, and I, I, was, I was trading fearful instead of just trading my process. That's, I think, the key to take away from that. But, whoops, let's not do this. Um, if you look here, this thing pops up 2.6, right? There, there's some areas right in here. Yeah, I could have kept going. Um, I wanted 2.5, I think it was 2.8. Two, two I wanted 2.5 to 2.8, and then I probably would have gone to 3. But I really like the 2.5 because of why. It's a half dollar. So I hit it. I go a little bit. I didn't give it enough room. I mean, look at that, I, five cents? Uh, that's just, it's ridiculous. You gotta at least give it some more room. Um, it immediately does what? Death candles, 
I punch it, but I do wait this time, get the bounce, boom, and I hit some on the way back down. Okay, I think that was a break-even trade. Uh, I think that's about what it was. Um, then I get into GBIO. And GBIO was a great trade if I didn't want to make back all my money in one second. So, pops up, down, it's, it's consolidating. I could have just nailed and bail healer here for, look at this. I was in five, five 495, 49 to five. I could have gone out at 475, 25 cents. Come on, Dave. That's a mistake. Um, even here, boom, what do you do? Look at that. Look at that line there. Should have hit it again. You would have gotten what again? So, then I'm gone for the day and I just put an OCO order on it. Haven't even taken any profits. Silly. Haven't taken any profits, haven't paid myself. My stop is where? 505, why? Because my average is 495. I wanted it a little tight, especially after it came down here. Guess what? Got back right before close, or uh, right at three o'clock to watch it tick me out. <laughs> Just go boom, stop me out, and I'm done. It's like, are you kidding me? So I got another red on the day to take me up at a pretty good, pretty good red day. Then, my only real good trade, and the only one that I really should have taken for the day, maybe. There was maybe another one in there I should have taken, but it was ADN. And I believe ADN was on our watch list that day. It was. Uh, wait for the money flow, wait for the death candle. Uh, boom down. This is a 7, 7 a.m. pump. Boom, boom. Look at this. I, I paid myself here. I had a decent size on. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Look at this. I have to, I have to, before the close, I said, before it opens, this could go way back up. I'm going to get out of all my shares. I already paid myself. Only thing I had to do is add if it jumped to 1819 and get out at two or above two, right? Because two is a whole number. Or get out right before two and get back in at two. I don't know. But this was silly. This faded the whole day. This thing just died. This, this was, this would have made, if I would have just followed this and the other, uh, I forgot what the other ticker was. I, it would have been a great day. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. It just died. It just died. So I just wasn't trading my process and my setup. I had it written down. I had everything set up. I just got overconfident. And I thought I was going to just kill it. You know, make huge, do huge, huge things two days in a row. Well, now we get to today. And today I think was a tough day, to be honest. Uh, but I traded DRMA and let's see, not too in love, but 220 to 240, right? Hmm. All right. Boom, boom, boom. 230 to 250. It's stuffing in there. What did I do? I loaded up on it. Markets open 930. Boom. It's stuffed again. I felt really good, really comfy. And like I said, just covered myself out. It wasn't for a ton. I think I had 15 cents or whatever. Had decent size on it. It was a great trade for the day, right? I, I'm just, I'm feeling great. It's a, it's a wonderful day. I'm gonna have a nice green day. Well, I forgot I had one more trade on. Because now this one, you guys will laugh at. This one's hilarious. So I was in GME today. Okay, first time got out. Um, I was a little early. I got out, it's okay, I didn't care. Then I got right back in at my line. It was a nice even um, line there at 23. I was pretty happy and look again, this thing just goes down. Guess what? I had to go to physical therapy at by 10.30. So it's still up here. I put an OCO order out. I have tight stop as you see, right? Tight stop. Put the OCO order out and I said, I'm gonna let this drop where most people probably took some profit in here. I didn't because I wasn't here, but I thought this thing, this thing's toast after this candle, it's done, it's, it's over. Again, not being smart, this is what, day four on this thing, and it's a crappy ass ticker. I should have known better. And guess what, stopped out. Now you see, I mean, my stop is not bad, right? Here are my two, one, one entry there, boom, and I added there. So these are the three things here. I was on full size though, but those are my three spots right there. Okay, but 
I mean, that stop was 10 cents. Uh, I, my average was probably uh, 22.95. Uh, my stop was at um, it's like uh, 23, 5, 13 or 15. So 20 cents, 15 cents, um, but it's a loss, which ended up being now a red day today. So lots of lessons today, lots of things going on. Um, you know, I just need to, I just need to do a better job, you know, of managing my emotions because my trading is there. Um, and this is just a good, good sign of, Hey, come on, Dave, you had a big day. Keep following your process. Don't break your rules. If you get behind, you don't make it up in one trade. Anyways, I hope this guy's guys, I hope this all helps you. Um, I'm starting to do them every week cause it's, I want to record them for myself. Um, and, make sure that I can go back and, and see what my mindset was as well. Um, I journal them also in TradeView, but this is kind of a new way for me to do it as well. Have a great weekend.